I pray thee, good Mercutio, let's retire. The day is hot, the Capulets abroad. And if we meet, we shall not escape abroad. For now these days, hot, these hot days, is the mad blood stirring. Thou art like one of those fellows that when he enters the confines of a tavern, claps me his sword upon the table, and says, God, send me the need, no need of thee. And by the operation of the second cup, draws it on the drawer, when indeed there is no need. Am I like such a fellow? Come, come, thou art as hot a jack, and thy mood as any in Italy, and soon moved to be moody, and soon moody to be moved. And what too? Nay, and there were two such, we should have none surely, but one will kill the other. Thou, why thou quarrel with a man that hath a hair more or a hair less in his beard, thou than hath than thou hast. Thou will quarrel with a man for cracking nuts, having no other reason but because thou hast hate for eyes. What eye but such an eye will spy out such a quarrel? Thy head is as fun of quarrels as an egg full of meat, and yet thy head hath been beaten as apples and egg before. Thou hast quarreled with a man for coughing in the street, because he hath wakened thy dog that hath lain asleep in the sun. Didst thou not fall out with a tailor for wearing his new to bled before Easter, with another for tying his new shoes with all the band, and yet thy will twitter me from quarrel? And I were so after quarrel, thou art any man, should buy the fee simple of my life for an hour and a quarter. The fee simple, oh simple. Oh. By my head, here come the Capulets. By my heel, I care not. Follow me close, for I will speak to him. Gentlemen, good day and a word with me, with one of you. And by one word with one of us, couple it with something, make it a word and a blow. You should find me apt enough to that, sir, and you will give me an occasion. Could you take, not take some occasion without giving? Kishio, thou can sort with Romeo. You can sort. What thou to make us minstrels, and thou make minstrels of us look to hear nothing but discords. Here's my fiddlestick. Here's that shall make you dance. Sounds can soar. We talk here in the public haunts of men. Either withdraw into some private place and reason coldly of your grievances, or else depart. Here all eyes are on a part us. Men's eyes were made to look and let them gaze. I will not budge for no man's pleasure. I. Well, peace with you, sir. Here comes my man. Romeo, the hate I bear than can afford. No better turn than this. Thou art a villain? Tybalt, the reason that I have to love thee, doth much excuse the ap appertaining. appertaining rage to such a greeting villain. Am I none? Therefore, farewell, I see thou knowest me not. For this shall not excuse the injuries that thou hast done to me. Therefore, turn and draw. I do protest. I never injured thee, but love thee better than thou can devise. Till thou shalt know the reason of my love. And so, good Capulet, which name I tender, as early as my own, be satisfied. O calm, dishonorable, vile submission, Alice the Kaida carries it away. Tybalt, you rat catcher, will you walk? What wouldst thou have with me? Good king of cats, nothing but one of your nine lives, that I mean to make ball with all. As, as soon you shall use me hereafter, drive beat the rest of the eight. Will you pluck your sword from the pitcher by thy ears? Make haste, lest mine be about your ears, and it be out. I am for you. Gentle Mercutio, put that rapier up. Come, sir. Yo, Pesado. Drop it, Milio. Beat down their weapons. Gentlemen, for shame. Forbear this outrage. Tybalt, Mercutio, the prince expressly hath forbidden banding in the Verona streets. And Tybalt, good Mercutio. I am hurt. A plague of both your houses. I am spent. Is he gone? And hath nothing?
What art thou heard? I, I, a scratch, a scratch. Mary tis enough. Where's my page? Go, villain. Fetch a servant. I thought all for the best. No, tis not so deep as a well, nor so wide as a church door. Tis enough. Twill serve. Act me for tomorrow. You shall find me a grave man. I have pepper. A warrant for this word. A plague on both your houses. Courage, man. The hurt cannot be much. No. Tis not so deep as a well, nor so wide as a church door. But this, enough will serve. Ask me for tomorrow, and you shall find me a grave man. I am Pepper, a warrant for this word. A plague on both your houses. Zounds, a dog, a wren, a mouse, a cat to scratch a man to death. A braggart, a rogue, a villain, deficed by the books of Earth Man. Why the devil came you between us? I was hurt, you were armed. I thought all for the best. Help me into some house with the me. Why should I think? I play a both your houses. You have made worms meet of me not having. I sound me to your houses. This gentleman, the prince's near ally, my very friend, hath got his mortal hurt. In my behalf, my reputation stained. With Tybalt's slander, Tybalt at an hour, has been my kinsman. O oh, sweet Juliet, thy, be thy beauty hath made me a fenomen, and made my temper soften the lower steel. Tybalt, the reason that I love thee, doth much excuse the heart rage. rage. To such a greeting, villain, I am none. Therefore, farewell. I shall. I see thou knowest me not. I do protest. I never injured thee, but loved thee better than thou can devise. Till thou shalt know the reason of my love. And so, good Capulet, which name I tender, as dearly as my own, be satisfied. O oh, Romeo, Romeo, brave Mercutio's dead. That gallant spirit hath inspired the clouds, which to untimely here did scorn the earth. This day's black fate on more days doth depend. This, this but begins the woes and others must end. Here comes the furious Tybalt back again. Alive in triumph and Mercutio slain, away to heaven respect of lenity. And fire-eyed fury be my conduct now. Now Tybalt, take the villain back again. That late thou gavest me for Mercutio's soul is but a little way above our heads. Staying for thine to keep him company. Either thou or I both must go with him. You got with you, boy, the didst consort with him. Shout with him. This shall determine that. Or I am first before shooting for it. Romeo, away be gone, the citizens are up, and Tybalt slain. Stand not amazed, the prince will doom thee death, if thou art taken. Hence be gone away. Who dost thou say, 